So you got your green screen and you're ready to go ahead and get it set up. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how in just a few clicks inside of Eevee Mux, you're going to be able to set up your green screen and have it ready for use. So let's go ahead and jump into my Eevee Mux account so you can see how easy this really is. All right, so here we are inside of my EV Monks account, and what you're currently looking at is the live stream editor. So the very first thing that you want to do is on the left hand side, on the pro scenes, you want to select add scene. You're going to go ahead and select the empty scene and hit create. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and add your camera. So you want to come to the left hand side under layers, select add layer. You're going to scroll down to where it says speaker and you're going to go ahead and select yourself. Then you're going to see your camera appear. And now we're ready to go ahead and begin the green screen process. So the very first thing that I always recommend is to go ahead and trim and crop your webcam uh, to fit with inside of your green screen. So to be able to do that, once you click on your camera, you're going to see a series of toggles and options you're going to come to magic animation so you're going to select the wand and this is going to give you the option to be able to do the chroma key which is going to be the green screen but like i said the first thing we want to do is select crop it's going to highlight in blue letting you know the crop is activated you're going to come to the left hand side and you're going to just bring it in all the way up into the green screen you're going to go on the opposite side again hit crop and you're gonna close it up. So now you can see here that now I'm with inside of my green screen. Now the only step remaining is to go ahead and remove it from behind me, giving me the flexibility to put any kind of background behind me. So you wanna click on it again, come to the magic wand, you're gonna select the chroma key, and then you're gonna hit active. So you can see here that it instantly went ahead and removed the green screen from behind me. So in order to achieve that, you wanna make sure that your green screen is lighted properly. And then you also have the option to be able to increase or decrease the intensity of it. But be careful because if you increase this too much, it's gonna to start to bleed into your shirt, into your body, into the things behind you, and it's not gonna look as good as it should. So once you have that active, the next thing we want to do is we can go ahead and size ourselves and position ourselves anywhere on the screen. Now, to go ahead and add a background, what we want to do is you wanna go back, you wanna go ahead and select add layer, and then we're gonna go ahead and select a media file. Now you can go ahead and add any image that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and add this here so what you want to see is that the first thing is going to pop up on the screen so what I want to do first is I want to make it the size of the window that I'm going to be presenting on so I'm just going to go ahead and take it from the angles and put it there now you can see here that you can't see me so what you want to do is you want to come back to the left hand side under layers and you want to make sure that you drag drag and drop yourself above the background and now you can see here that now I'm present and there's a background behind me not the green screen so this is going to work beautiful if you want to do a presentation so you see here using the pro scenes I was able to change myself to another scene and you can see here that now I'm able to go ahead and be presenting while I have my presentation going on behind me then I also have the option to be able to change to a different scene just like this and put myself in a different scenario and a different scenario there. So you can see here how just in a few clicks, we were able to go ahead and remove the background and put any background that we want behind us. And just like that, you can once again see the power of EV Mux and the quality of broadcasts and recordings you can produce directly from your web browser without any complexity. So go ahead and watch this video right here to be able to learn Learn more about how you can use Eevee Mux. And if you found value in today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. I'll see you in the next one.